Hey, welcome back! This is Tech Brothers. Yesterday we have unboxing of Yumidigi Z2. Today we are going to talk about performance of this phone. As usual, we will run benchmarks and play some games. In the description you can find links where to buy this phone cheaper. Before we start testing, please thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers. It is very important for us. Yumidigi Z2 has Helio P23 chipset, Mali G71 graphics, 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal memory. The phone supports microSD memory cards up to 256 gigs. By the way, also there is Yumidigi Z2 Pro with more powerful processor Helio P60 and 128 gigs of storage. Should you buy Pro version or regular model is still good? Let's find out. As usual, we want to begin with Antutu. Here you can see about 84,500 points. As for Hikbench 4, there is 785 points in single core test and 3600 points in multi core test. Pretty good results for $250 found. The next benchmark is called 3D Mark. It is needed to test graphics capabilities of Yumidigi Z2 and compare result with other Android devices. Here is 681 points in Slank Shot. We cannot pass by memory speed, Wi-Fi and GPS. Some people will find this information useful. Yumidigi Z2 has 283 megabit per second reading speed and 211 megabit per second writing speed. Also, we didn't notice any problems with GPS and Wi-Fi. There is 45 megabit per second download speed and 50 megabit per second upload speed, while GPS has about 4 meters accuracy. Now let's play the most popular Android games. Asphalt 9 is already available on Android, so let's try to play it on Yumidigi Z2. By the way, I've heard different opinions about new version of popular racing game. Some people like it, while another says that it is worse than Asphalt 8. Anyway, you should play it at least once to decide for yourself is it good or not. Yumidigi Z2 is good fun for this game. It almost doesn't buggy, while the graphics is very good. The next game is PUBG Mobile. I'm sure that you already heard and even played it. So I will not tell you what this game is about. Yumidigi Z2 automatically chooses medium graphics settings. Also, you cannot choose ultra high settings, but it is still better than low graphics. It is very comfortable to play, FPS is ok, and there are no lags. By the way, I already played about 30 minutes and my phone becomes really hot. I cannot show you the temperature, but in my feelings it is above 50 degrees. The last game for today will be Shadowgun Legends. It is very demanding Android game and I should say that Yumidigi Z2 has very big problems with it, especially when you shouldn't. It is very uncomfortable to play and I would not recommend playing this game to save your nerves.
performance test of Yamadichi Z2 shows that it has good benchmarks results for its price category. The phone doesn't have any problems with Wi-Fi and GPS. As for games, you can play PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 9, but there are problems with more demanding games such as Shadow Gun Legends. If you are going to play a lot on smartphone, then you should buy Yamadichi Z2 Pro, because it has more powerful chipset Helio P60. In general, Z2 is good for everyday tasks and most games. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers.